Hello, my name is Scott Harris, and I'm a documentary filmmaker. I've just finished work on my first feature-length documentary, a film called Being Ginger, and I'd like you to have a look at the first four minutes. So a couple weeks ago, I was sitting in a cafe. I was having a drink with a friend of mine, a very cute 23-year-old French girl. And as we're sitting there, this random man I'd never met before in my life walks up to the table. He points at me, and he says to her, You aren't dating a ginger, are you? It wasn't the kind of thing I expected when I moved to Scotland for grad school, yet it kept happening. But then, I had a number of friends who kept telling me that they had this friend who just loved men with red hair. But it was always a friend, and frankly, I didn't believe that such women actually existed. So one day, I picked up my camera, and I got my friend Lou to come with me to the park. Now, Lou didn't exactly understand my issue. That she said she'd gone out with me herself, except she was already taken. And I only told her that the plan was to interview women to find out what they thought of men with red hair. But the truth is, I was looking for love. I thought maybe I could find one of those mythical creatures, and we could live happily ever after. I mean, it's the 21st century. There are dumber ways to get a date. Okay, what are you going to look for in your victims? Pretty women. Just prettiness? Looking for prettiness? Yeah. So this isn't just for the film then, this is perhaps for future well-being. Well, romance, future romance. Well, the, well no, because the whole point is I'm looking for a woman. Oh, okay, right, okay. I didn't uh, know I was part of a kind of thinking operation. I'm specifically looking for a woman who likes men with red hair. Do you think he'd have actually made a baby if he'd been ginger? Maybe redhead women, they don't understand. No, redheads don't date redheads. Come on, come on, I'm getting cold. Come on. So am I. This isn't easy to do. Well, I think that's why I think you should actually start rehearsing a bit. You know, get used to some rejection. I'm used to rejection. Have you ever had anybody actually reject you for your hair? Yes. I mean, actually say it out loud. Yes. Asking women you don't fancy, do you think you'd be a bit more? I'm not gonna. The, the whole point is, I'm trying to find a woman for me. I'm not gonna stop and talk to a woman I have no actual interest you in. Definitely used to be a bit more forward then. So basically, are we looking for blondes then? Just give me an idea. No, I like blondes, I like brunettes. Oh, blonde! Blonde, come towards you. I don't, oh, I don't yeah. care. Yes, you do. Come on, don't pretend. It's Good lord. Oh, shitters. Focus. Right, okay. On it. Yeah, yeah, okay, yeah. you ready? Yeah, yeah. Right. Hold the microphone for me. Hold the microphone. I gotta walk over there. Pardon me. Could I possibly, I'm a student at the university. I'm working on a project for school. Could okay. I have five minutes to talk to you on camera? Um, yeah, sure. I hope you like that. In fact, I hope you like it enough that you'd like to see what happened next. If you would, you can go right now to my website, beingginger.co.uk, and download the film for $10. Now obviously, I'm really proud of this film and I think you'll like it, but you don't have to take my word for it. It was invited to have a joint world premiere at the Irish Redhead Convention and at the Redhead Days in the Netherlands, the two largest gatherings of redheads in the world. And here's how the audience reacted after the very first screening at the Irish Redhead Convention. So I'm not sending this film to film festivals, and it's not going to appear on TV. It's only available through my website.
for ten dollars. I've incurred a lot of debts making it. And the only chance I have to pay off my debts and never make another film is by selling the film to you. I hope you'll like it and support the film. Thanks for watching. Please share this with your friends.